of violence. Election that leads to a democratic process is the best form of a validation of what true democracy should be about. And so I want to reiterate again that this contest is about peace, is about progress, is about prosperity for our states and our country at large. And I want you all, gentlemen of the press, to continue to preach and to advocate for everyone to have the right to be able to express themselves freely, fairly, and transparently. I'm indeed happy driving here this morning that everywhere in the city looks calm. But there are a few disturbing videos that we've also seen where some parties, I'm here, I'm told that they were doing one or two things which it's not verifiable, so I'm not going to talk about it. right? But truly, really, it's just to say that I'm excited and I'm happy to be here. And I want to ask that all of our voters, all of our citizens should just remain vigilant you know, if you see anything, say something, and just all let's come out, you know, and exercise our right freely, devoid of any form of acrimony or any form of protest or any form of uh, intimidation. That is not acceptable as a government. Let Konsi, Ofe Tupelo Obobowa, Pe Ati Debi, Olo De Tufan Luri Ofe, Lati Dibo, 
Eripe Iboyen o lowo rowo bo te je pe awon oniroyin e po gan eh oye mi bo se ri eh yi ta nse yi ko nse kan to ye ko fa jagidi jagan eto idibo o je eto gbogbo omo ilu eko gbogbo omo Nigeria lati ni se to ma lowo rowo oro ti o ni si ja ti o ni si iteje sile ti o ni si jagidi jagan ta ma se to ma lo Tolong dia mahu ngaji, bukain om, dapat jenjat dia, kerja tu sila, kerja pe, ikut dia ngaji, pe, kursi walang pe, model sana akan kiri pe, buku itu, eh, aman cuci dia, aman cuci dia, ni waro waro, tak ni sih ni cak, itu ri, eh ini le mafi gobino, ati gua tu mahu ngaji no, kalau tu eh le mafi ngosuri ngaji. Eni to de man se yen owo yin lokus Olorun a de fun yin se Olorun a de fun yin se I want to I want to thank all of you gentlemen of the press for turning out in large number here this morning I'm hoping that the what we have seen here will be um, a reflective of the sincerity of ensuring that that process truly is free, is fair and is transparent for everyone to see. Thank you very much, gentlemen of the court. Election, um, in terms of logistics, there have been a great improvement from the places we went to, Egbeda, Ujudu, Omolim, Anifooshi, uh, Bagada and now Lagos Island. So there have been that improvement, very early voting commenced. Again, personnel were on ground. And those few people that we came across on our way, they displayed the highest level of professionalism. Cuts. We've seen uh, an improvement in the turnout of voters too. So by and large, we want people to be encouraged. Let them know that. People are going about in, their, in, in a very, very peaceful atmosphere. And voting is done in secrecy. So there's no harassment or intimidation. People should come out and vote for the candidates of their choice. Dr. Joe Odumakin, President of Men and Rights. I Thank you. Difficult at this stage to assess voter turnout. Um, I can only point out that the process of voting today for me, my experience is that it was weaker. So that clearly shows that there has been some experience gained over two cycles of election. And I can also point out that the long queues that we had um, in the last exercise on the 25th of February are not here in my polling station today. But this is now a few minutes to midday. So it is possible that other people have voted since the exercise started. I have not had reports of delay in arrival of material, so therefore I'm not in a position at this time to speak about voter turnout. As far as my own experience is concerned, the process was quicker today. It took about five minutes or thereabouts for me to vote. You see, Whatever happens, let us not forget that INEC is an institution and peopled by our brothers and sisters who have volunteered to serve. And therefore, 
let us also understand that INEC is conducting elections across a large territory of 900,000 plus square kilometers. That's the size of the Federal Republic. It is diverse, it is expansive, it is a mixture of rural and urban and semi-urban territories. It is a logistic challenge. And let us continue to recognize that uh, we need to encourage Nigerians to sign up to serve their country. Our children who are youth coppers, our relations, cousins from across Nigeria, people we know, uh, so don't go and say it's my cousins that are in Nineck, people we know across, across Nigeria are serving as ad hoc staff. They are in their hundreds of thousands, if not millions. Clearly, we can't have a budget to keep them permanently in employment. So the process of training, and all of that also is uh, challenging. So we must continue to, while we ask for service improvement at all times, we must continue to encourage those who volunteer to serve so that we can, the INEC can continue to attract much better people to offer themselves to serve. If you create a scaremongering around INEC, I wonder who then wants to offer to take the job. So that's my sense. By next, we must ask them to improve, we must inspire them, we must encourage them. We can challenge what they do without being uh, vicious in our challenge, without wholesale commendation, condemnation. So I was in Abidjan yesterday and four ministers from West Africa who sat with me were saying they were learning from what we did in our last election and that it was a very good election. They actually debated our elections in their cabinet meetings and the verdict of all of them, to me, was that they felt inspired by what we do. And for those of you who don't know enough about INEC, I think you should go and check out what INEC does. The countries that INEC is consulting for, that's a brand we have built in Nigeria. In spite of its imperfections, and no human organization is, is, is imperfect, let us celebrate them when they do well and challenge them to do better. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well, Nigerians, Nigerians, they really came out today in numbers uh, to cast their votes. If you have gone around all the polling units, you will see that most of the polling units are very peaceful. People came out, killed, and voted for whoever they wanted to vote for. Right today has been very, very peaceful and successful. What are your expectations? Uh, well, my expectation as usual will, will be for the relation of Babagide Sowulu. He's been a performing you know, governor. He's a celebrity. He has done a lot. And that's why today you've seen a lot of people today, they, are, they, were, they were so eager to vote back Baba Gide Sowulu. And it has been very, very encouraging. Within my community, Ujodu SCDA, people came out in mass. We have security on ground. And you can, you must have gone, gone around so that everything has been very, very peaceful. Then about the beavers, what is your experience about that? Well, beavers, it's a matter of a uh, network. Beavers uh, is used at least in all the polling units around my, my community, Ujodu SCDA. And uh, we never received any complaint, major complaint about beavers not working. People have been using it. Just as, just as the last election, today again they use it and it has worked. Any final words? But my final word is that eh, we should expect more from our celebrity, Mr. Celebu, Governor Baragide 
Sowolu and his deputy Amzan. And then our legislators also, uh, in this area, we have Kasum Damola that is coming out at the House of Assembly. He's going at the third time. The first one, he learnt. The second one, he improved on it. And this time around, he must have been a master. I will be a high-ranking officer in the assembly. And that means that it's going to be more development of democracy to the community of people that he's serving. Be a minimum wabi, but then you are cake, a bemo, then wabi. Oh, no, a mimi by Yiri, but on what you go, on what no, oh, Jack was so be me, Nula Ye, a minimum wad do it more. Lenny, you for the army, go talk about the letter on the lady. Oh, no, there she in Tafe, no, no, she for a while. I saw for go on what you reach. Come on, Jack, I want to have a day as Uncle B. or Shake Cock of Fuau. Uncle Bobo, Uncle Bobo. Oh, Fuanisha, Baba Shake Cock of Wallet, Rebu, Bobo Talk of me. Oh, Wulo. As Kiloto Kiloto Kimaso Renumi, Kimashi Shafu, that is twenty five, forty years ago, Machin Chief. That's all the only year I will know. They need. Oh, to be sorry, oh, my, your, your, she, she, wala. Oh, no, no, he said, oh, my, 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 wa. Oh, ba, wa, oh, 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 quite different to the previous election, the presidential. This time around, we, 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 we try to mobilize, we try to reach out to people. Everybody could understand within the space of that four years, a lot of people have relocated here and there. So we try to reach out, to send out to people that have been far away to come around. You know, we lodge them in the hotel, provide a space for them. That is what we are experiencing. People came out voted for Sowolu and our House of Assembly. Quite appreciated. The election has been peaceful so far, from what I've seen. Um, people have come out in large folds to vote for who they wish to vote for. So it's been a good showing. It's been, it's been a very good showing of democracy today. So what should the people of your constituency and negotiation as a whole to expect for your emergency? Well, continuation of our great work. If you can see, the road that we're even standing on is still on that work. This was part of the projects that we facilitated in our first term, and we hope to be able to facilitate a whole lot more. We're currently working on uh, bringing a secondary school, a state-sponsored secondary school, to our constituency, and hopefully, by the grace of God, we, we are able to achieve that in our second term. And for the youth of this area, we are very productive. What are your plans for them? Absolutely. So, uh, once again, education is a very key portal for youth and for young people and bringing education closer to home for them should be the greatest of things that they should expect. But we, we constantly do programs to try and engage the youth in uh, job employability programs, <laughs> etiquette, things to just get them prepared for work. In fact, our last one, we, we gave two lucky constituents a piece of land each so they were able to start their lives with that. Whether they sold it, whether they kept it, it's entirely up to them. And that's what we hope to do. We hope to try and just create avenues in which the young people of Lagos mainland will be able to develop themselves.